Good morning, beautiful people. How are you doing? Mm. It's blinking cold today and it's raining. So yeah, we've wrapped up in July here in the UK. How are you doing? In today's video, we're going to talk about what you've missed. And I'll need to be careful with the choice of my words so we don't get too censored. Um, but what have you missed while you've been at home in these few months? And what have you loved about it? What have you hated about it? And what was the other thing? It'll come to me in a minute. Um, I was just thinking about it as I was preparing for this video. I thought there are three things. What have you loved? What have you hated? And what have you, I can't remember the other thing. So I'm gonna tell you mine. Now, while you're listening to this video, because there's not really anything to see, there's just me chatting, you can leave your comments at the same time. So it'd be really nice if you wanted to join in and say, oh, I've loved this, or I've not liked that then do leave it in the comments while the video is playing. You can still listen to me and you can type away at the same time. As always, I reply. I've got a small selection to reply to today, which I will do later this afternoon. And at the end of this video, I'm going to tell you my news updates. And of course, we will have the hashtag reveal. So um, so in this period of time, you know what I'm talking about. Um, and don't get me wrong, I've got those other videos where we did a day in the life kind of things and, and that was, they were fine. YouTube were fine with that um, <clears throat> because of certain things that I was saying and such like. So, <coughs> excuse me, you know, the pneumonia story, so we won't even go there about what I'm coughing. Um, mm, there have been things that I have thought were fantastic. I, I can't say it any other way there have been things that i thought were completely devastating and i don't think i'm on my own i think pretty much everybody has felt the same um that there have been so many goods and, and bad things so the let's talk about the bad things and get that out of the way first just briefly so i'm not a news watcher i'm not somebody that watches the news but i think everybody's been a little bit tuned into that during this period of time and me included, and I can remember seeing some scenes, it's making me feel quite emotional. Obviously, there's been massive devastation, a lot of loss of life. And when I saw some some footage of um, the Italian, because it, Italy was like quite a bit before us, wasn't it? The Italian ICUs and the people with like fishbowl things on their head to try and balance the oxygen. It frightened the life out of me and I was like, oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. Um, and I just thought, thinking of your loved ones or yourself or whatever in that situation and I don't know if any of you followed the Kate Garraway story with her husband Derek his tears are actually going to drop so I've just done my makeup I'm really sorry um but oh my goodness didn't expect to feel like this I expected to say all the good stuff that I've done um but Kate Garraway and her husband Derek so he's been really really affected and she told a story about how he was begging her on the phone, please let them put me in a coma. And I can understand that. I don't know if you've ever been that unwell that you've wanted to, um, you've just wanted to be out of it because it's just easier to cope with. And he was begging her, please let them put me in a coma. And that was the last time that they spoke. And, and I understand that, but what awful devastation there's been. So I'm not trying to deny any of that or say none of that's gone on. But as you know, on this channel, I'm about trying to look at the glass half full. And for me, I felt there've been some really down days. I've shed so many tears over this period of time for no real apparent reason. I've just felt that way. And I know through looking at social media, so many other people have felt the same. We've all called it a roller coaster. In the glossary in the end of my book, which I should have here now, go, oh, look, by this. And um, the COVID-19, um, crap it, I've said them words now, never mind. Um, so in the end of that book, in, there's a glossary. Some of it's funny, some of it's serious, some of it's like scientific research. And I've written in there that, you know, the term roller coaster was used a lot and what it meant. So people were up, people were down. Now my ups came initially because I was so unwell and I thought, good, I can slow down. I can, I'm allowed to be unwell because there's no other choice at the moment. You can't go places, you can't do things, you can't work. I mean, I worked online heavily worked online but I did take three weeks I, I say it was three weeks in mine I've been quite as long as that to sit in bed and I was dosed up and I was sleeping and I was on and off and and wow 
it's just like I've always fought these autoimmune issues that I've got and always been like, no, I'm going to forget that I've got that and I'm going to carry on my life, which I think can be a good thing. But sometimes you need that, like, no, I need to give in and listen to my body. So that was a really good thing and I needed that. I felt like I needed that. The opportunity to write the book was magnificent and I've loved it. And we're still on the bestseller list, which is awesome. We did nearly drop out of it. I did a tiny bit of marketing, like tweeting out and things like that. And it's gone back up on the bestseller list, which is phenomenal. Um, in microbiology as well, we got to the highest we've been. I think it was number 32 in the microbiology segment of Amazon, which is great, fantastic. Um, so that was good. And it also gave me the clarity to really realise that that is completely what I want to be doing. So what have I not liked? What have I missed? So the things that I've missed, obviously there's some certain people that you miss, isn't there? People that you've not been able to see for that period of time. And then when you do see them again, you're like, oh my God, this is so amazing to see you. And it's just the loveliest feeling. That's been hard. And especially if, like, if you can keep in contact lots, then it's great. But sometimes you can't and life gets in the way or other people need you or demand on your time. And that has been an absolute heartbreaker for me um, because I've got a very small inner circle. I didn't used to, I used to be like, the more people in my life, the better. But now my inner circle is quite small because I'm quite particularly fussy about who I want to let in. And when they're in, I'm really open and I will just heart on my sleeve. Um, so I missed that. I, like, that was probably my biggest thing th that made me cry you know, was um, not having that contact with those that I love, that I'm really close with. Um, mm, that was that was really, really tough. And again, I could get emotional, so I won't. Um, I miss swimming. And it was weird, because when my lungs were not good, I was like, because my lungs have always been so brilliant, and I swim a lot underwater. I feel as though maybe I was a dolphin in a previous life, or, or maybe not a dolphin. I don't know, something. Um, because for me, swimming underwater is so peaceful and you can't talk to anyone and you can't check your phone at the moment. Probably technology will take you, be, you know, swimming underwater and texting. Um, but it, it, I just, I really miss that. I really miss that a lot. The, I would say I've missed the gym and I have, but I've missed more the being able to have the equipment to do the things rather than actually going to the gym because I've replaced that with the walking, which you've seen and um working out at home which has been actually probably better get a, probably a better workout i think what else have i missed um tell you what else i haven't missed and this is going to make me sound a little bit cruel and heartless but um i need to actually tell you this story on another video it is about mum i don't talk about her a lot and sometimes you guys ask which is really sweet of you um, but um, she's unwell um, and she, I grinned because the message came in and it was funny, it was from Julie and she's so funny. Um, she, <laughs> she does make me laugh. Um, that's been really nice actually, that's been something that I've absolutely loved is our voice notes. We voice note each other all day every day and it's brilliant, you know how us girls can chat. So yeah, about mum, I was going into her twice a day previous to the 22nd of March and I was going in well actually previous to me being ill so 20th March because then the hospital put me on quarantine before anybody else because they said you know you've got pneumonia you're a sitting duck you need to absolutely be going nowhere seeing no one for 12 weeks which I thought oh that's gonna be impossible I thought maybe three but no I managed it it was good um and so I would go into her twice a day and take her obs if you don't know what that is like her blood pressure and her oxygen levels and sometimes do a her blood glucose because as a nutritionist i know about those sorts of stuff and chronic disease is my speciality with them um, with that so something that's like long term and ongoing i'm um, not so much a good like sports nutritionist or there's other sorts of nutritionists but chronic disease is my thing so i go in twice a day to do that make her feel a bit fast clean for her a little bit and stuff like that and as soon as this happened because she was still having carers go in and i was like that's too much exposure it's too much risk for me i cannot come in and risk on top of the doctor said, you know, you've got pneumonia. If you get COVID, that, um, you it's gonna be, you know, really serious. So I was like, okay. So I said, Mum, I can't do it. And it's been a nice break. Now, don't get me wrong. I still go see her. We stand at the gate and chat every day. I phone her twice a day. Um, 
she has got carers going in there so she's well taken care of and well looked after and obviously we dropped her all the shopping around and things but it's been a nice break to put myself first for a change and I know how awful that sounds but you have got to fit that oxygen mask on yourself and it was getting a bit wearing so so yeah I don't know is this video too long just chatting shit about like what I like and what I don't like but um anyway I can't remember what this other thing was what you're going to do differently I think maybe it was something like that so for me um or something else that I've loved and I'm sure the whole world not just the nation has felt that they've had a good clear out of stuff now I wouldn't have done that I would have continued sitting at my desk and writing because I've got so many half written books or ideas for stories and now I feel as though my career is where I want it to be everyone's paying attention and going she's a writer this is her book and it's a bestseller this is the time that I need to be doing that but we've got all this building work going on thank god such a blessing to be able to put the money in the house that it needs to get fixed and be able to find a fantastic team I am not complaining about that at all however goodness me you know when you're all like ah oh, like that there we go that's better so um not complaining about that at all but this has been the opportunity where i'm like right i need to sort my house out need to get rid of all the junk and rubbish and what i'm doing is sort of preparing for next year when i'm traveling loads because i think you know i've got these two -y trips coming up um traveling loads writing about it journaling it writing it vlogging it vlogging it and all of that so um so this is this year is the opportunity to get a house sorted throw things away, get a bit organised, so that when it's calmed down, like, and the house is done, I can then be like, oh, okay. So I get up, I have my coffee, I chat to you guys, I go and get to my desk and I sit and I write. And that is just what I'm so excited to be in that place to do, but I need to go through this journey and this process and sorting things out is, is getting us there. So there's been so much that I've loved. Oh, we found all these incredible walks, which you've seen, um and they're so local like literally go out the front door and go walk in and we've done like five to eight kilometers most days and um it's been absolutely outstanding now i would have thought not dancing would have been a bit of an issue but oh my god yeah let me tell you this now, i think i'm the only person if you're a dancer and you're watching i'm so sorry to have to admit this i've not missed my dancing again i feel as though this is the time i've given to nurture my body Oh yeah, I've just remembered a load of things I've got to tell you that I've missed. Things, it's been time to nurture my body and really listen to it. And sometimes dancing hurts it. All the time dancing hurts it. But I'm a little bit like, should I, shouldn't I? And I go there and I want to dance really hard because I like that feeling of being out of breath and heart racing and being sweaty and the music gets me and I want to just dance, dance, dance. And all the people there are lovely and everybody's just like, hello, how are you? You know, And it's just so nice. But... I'm the only person I think because they've all joined in on Zoom calls and quizzes and I'm like, oh, I can't be doing with that. I've enjoyed the break from that. So again, it's like nurturing my body and how I'm feeling and stuff like that. Hashtag below if you're still watching, hashtag dance. And don't forget your comment about what you love and what you don't. And you can do that now if you like. Um, what I have really missed is going for cake and coffee and going out for dinners. I, re I eat out quite a lot and um, part of my nutrition, I've got some nutrition social medias, is going and finding the gluten-free foods and posting about those because I'm celiac in case you didn't know. And um, I've really missed going out for dinner. But I'm in a position at the moment where I'm putting every spare bit of money into the house so I can borrow as little as possible and I can do you know what I can do and just working really hard on all of that. So that's been a good thing. Um, and I have been cooking very healthily. I don't know if you noticed, but I lost quite a lot of weight and um, I wanted to lose the weight, so that's good. So yeah, just been really on it, like with my body and I feel as though it's a time I've nurtured me and tried to get as well as I can be. And I'm, I'm almost there. It has taken literally this amount of time because with the pneumonia diagnosis, they gave me so many medications which messed up my Crohn's. And I'm, I've still got a little slight issue that they want to medicate me for. But the medication, they said it's almost guaranteed it give you very severe headaches. And I, I'm not a person that deals well with headaches. I don't get headaches. And and I'm so, yeah. Um, anyway, God, I've let you right in today, haven't I? Telling you all this personal stuff about me. Um, 
but I don't think it's been all bad for the planet as a whole, for us as human beings. Obviously, there's this massive tragic side, but even things like people sorting out their gardens and clipping stuff back and, and getting a chance to catch up with life when they're normally like at, at full pelt all day, every day. Get up, get ready, go to work, come back, do this, do that, you know, and it's just been too much for too long. And it's given people a chance to go, actually, right, okay, what am I going to do now? I'm going to do this. Get clear in your mind and, and don't forget those things because I journal every day and I've written down so many things about the clarity that's in my mind and it's really a lot of it's to do with you guys and all these little comments that you give me and the thumbs ups and, and all of that. It makes me feel so good. I'm doing something worthwhile and even if like these little videos are just getting a small audience but you saying you like them and you know it's fantastic and it, it gives me a little bit of a structure um to get up to get going because very often i'll get up and i'll just get straight to work rather than get ready and do this and do that and so this is making me get up get get going early in the morning before the builders come so um we will still be vlogging that but i've kind of delayed things slightly with vlogging that because it's got to a point where not only can we not really get up there very easily now because the staircase is gone um but it's also i i want to i don't want it to be so long-winded you know i'd rather show you bits and bobs and then what i'm going to do at the end of that is this is nothing to do with what the title of the video is about is it but there's probably only three of you watching now um if you are thumbs ups um and I'm going to do, like, at the end of it, I'm going to do, a, like, a quicker video and a, and a sort of, like, say, this happened, that happened, then we did that. So I think it's going to be quite good. I think you're going to enjoy it. You're going to enjoy what I've got coming up on this channel, and I'm really excited to bring it to you. But it's just a case of me. Can you hear all them birds? Listen. How beautiful. Um, so it's just a case of me figuring everything out and prioritising and not trying to overwhelm myself by getting all these things done that I really, really want to do. Anyway, lovely to chat with you. Have a fantastic day. Go here and watch this video. Um, I don't know what it is yet, so I'm not going to tell you, but have a look at the title and it will tell you. And I send in loads of love your way. Have an absolutely phenomenal Wednesday. Oh my goodness, it's Wednesday. And I will chat to you tomorrow. Tomorrow's video is going to be about, because loads of you have inboxed me and said about making YouTube videos. I am going to do tomorrow's video is going to be the easy way to start YouTube or the private way to start YouTube if it's not something that you want out there. So make sure that you come back for that. And don't forget, if you haven't subscribed and you're still watching this far in, you clearly like this video enough that you should be subscribed. So thank you from the bottom of my heart and I will see you later. Bye for now. Oh, didn't push stop. What an idiot I feel and I don't want to edit this video.